Time of the fourth inning here, 8-6 game. The Patterson Clippers trying to get their 10th win of the season, and they're up two runs here over Mervo so far. And Waters had a strikeout inning, struck out the side. And that is the ball there. One and oh. There's a second pitch and a hitter. Another hits Batsman. And Taylor on base again. Second straight time, I do believe he's been hit by a pitch here in this game. So now the former starting pitcher of today's game, Jason Nuez, is back at the plate again. He popped up last time with the bases loaded. As long as he's able to get out that jam. Yes, I do my way. A wild pitch, Taylor easily to second. No, batter back in the batter's box. That one's in there for a ball. Two and zero. They were the runner on second for Patterson here in the fourth inning as the Clippers out. Eight to six. Try to get the runner. No, not there. Not there. And the pitch. That one tap foul right on the first base side near the Mervo. Dug out. Where we're at. This is location. This is location. Hey. Still looking at the runner at second. That's a penguin, that's a foul ball. That's a foul ball. And the pitch. That one's high outside the zone. Count is full now, three and two. Runner on second, nobody out. Here in the top of the fourth inning. That one was slightly closer. And the runner still gets back to second. Quick swipe, man, it's wrong. Quick swipe. That's a hitter. That's gonna slot. That's a tight one, it got him! Coming home, but he's safe at home, however. And the lead is up to nine. 
To six. Nice play at first base. Corey Shell able to hang on to the bag to get the out, but the run, however, comes in for Patterson on the other end. And the Clippers lead is back to three runs. High pitch, that's a ball. One and oh. Water's only giving up his second charge run in the game. Another high one, two and oh. Tavon Mitchell Jr., catcher. He's trying to wait for a good one to hit. Low again, and it's three and out. Four pitch walk. Mitchell gets a free pass on the base pass. So now, pitcher that's in now for Patterson, Jeffrey, excuse me, Joshua Martinez. Coming up here and. First pitch, low again, 1-0, and it's right now, Walters has lost the strike zone here. Low pitch, going to second. He's going to be safe, and the ball gets past both of the infielders, and it's going to be another steal to third. So Mitchell gets a free pass, gets a steal to second, and gets a steal to third. Well, his pitch count up. He's coming in the second. And that's another high pitch. Run on third as Patterson tried to equal their run total they had against Mervo four weeks ago at 10. If they can get the next runner home. Hey, roll your arms out. Low pitch again. And a four pitch walk. Well, Martinez is on the first base corner. As Emmanuel. 
Well, Prenya is in, and I think they're going to do a pitching change here. Walter's effectiveness did well. But yeah, pitching change is in. We have now switched over to Julius Lynch. He's going to pitch here in the fourth, and we're going to take a pause and back with you for the bottom of it. For the end of this third, fourth inning, excuse me, top of it, that is. Coming up at you. Back into the top of the fourth here. One away. And Jeremiah Lynch in the pitch. It's a low ball. Going home. Third to play. He's safe. Ten runs. And the runner advances to third as well. And it's a 10 to 6 gain. The lead back up to 4. And Patterson has reached this level. 10 6 affair. Whoa, look out. Should be a ball, even though it hit the bat. More of a defense mechanism trying to block that. One and one, as the ump says. They do call that last pitch. It was out of the zone. It did hit the bat. Pitch for Lynch. Strike two. Oh, look out. Another wild pitch gets away. The 11th run is in for Patterson. And the game has gone to 11 to 6. Biggest lead now for the Clippers. He gone to away here in the fourth. Michael Bray, you up? Watches his credit cap. The Mustangs in the game. His performance out of relief. That was a hot shot and a ball. Another hot shatter. Two and out. Two and zero, make it three and zero. Eleven six game for Patterson. Ball four. Four pitch walk, Bray you. Good enough free pass. Angel Montero in the game.
That's a ball. That's a low pitch. Going to second. He is safe. Another steal. And the pitch. On the ground. Somebody got to cover the bag and couldn't get him. And now the runner looked like he was trying to go home on the other end. And to no avail, did not. So, could have been real costly for Mervo. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. But no one was covering the bag. And that was the difference there as Ryan Ruiz Santana comes up to hit for Patterson. Two on, two out. Lynch. Another low pitch. One and out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's a strike one and one. And that one was up. Two one is the count. Two on and two out. Strike two. So two on, two out, two and two is the count. Ball three. So the count is full. And two runners is already on base. Huge pitch here from Irvo. That's on the ground. That's that went out of his legs. Two runs is going to come in for Patterson. And it's a 13 to 6 game now. Hate to say it, Bill Buckner under his legs there. Pick your head up. Let's go. Hey, over with. Let's go. Let's go on the ground next time. We work on that. I got the armor. Don't do it. Well, Isaiah Jackson at the plane here. Mustang's trying to get out the inning. No more collateral damage. Another wild pitch. Another run er, advances to second base. And the pitch. Foul back. One on one. Strike. Right there. 
Close, real close. No call. No count. Two and two, two outs. One on second. Three and two. Count is full. Run on second, two away. Ball four. Taylor back up. We walk as we have uh, rounded around back to the top of the line. Ball, ball skips away in the corner. And the runner is going to advance. Two on, two out here. Taylor at the plate. He's been hit with a pitch his last two at bats. Now he can really, as they say, bust it wide open here for uh, Patterson. That's a strike in there. That's a tip. That's a tip. That's a foul ball. One and two. Trying to get this inning. In the top of the fourth here. On the ground. Base hit. Right on the left side. One will score. Runner's going to advance to second. So it's 14 to 6, Patterson. And the Mustangs here. Like it's not going to be their afternoon. Unless they can come up and offensively explode here. Hey, if we put the glove on the ground, we out there in it, fellas. Come on. That's another one that's low. Another run's going to come in wildly. Oh, yeah. It's now 15 to 6. A nine run lead for the Clippers. Excuse me, ball two. My apologies. The count is two and zero. That's a shot. That's going high. That's going far. It won't be caught. Another run comes in for Patterson. Sixteen to six game there. Mitchell had his catching gear on. He took it off because he's got a hit. That one's high as a ball. Come on, 
Not in there. Two and out. Hey, six, six, six. Where we at? Where we at? I don't hear nobody. <laughs> that's a no. That's not a strike. Three and oh. Long fourth. His Mustang still has to hit in the bottom of it. Foul. That's a foul tip. Three and one. On the ground, balls baggled, and he's going to be safe. So the inning continues for Patterson on offense. Martinez. My bat now. That's a strike, that's not it? Run on third, two outs still. We're going on two outs for a while. Flatted foul right behind the catcher's arm. That one's up. That's a ball. Runner advances to second. So two more runners in scoring position. That one's low. Lunch right now is saying, man, man, man. That's low again. Three and two. Pitch bases are loaded. Low in the dirt. One and zero. That's a shot. Base hit. One will come in, and that's going to be all for now. So base is still loaded, still two outs, and the lead is now seventeen to six. Oh. 
That's the ball on the outside. Michael Abreu. Foul back one and one. Got in the tree, uh, Bunker there. That's skipped. Strike one. That's a laser on the corner. Finally, the inning will be over. So that ends the time of the fourth. The Patterson rolling in this one now. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Bottom of the fourth here, 18 to 6 game. Patterson has control of it. We could be playing one more inning here if the lead stays at 10. Pitch, that is a ball. 1 0. Pitch. Strike one. One and one. One and one on Winkler. Struck out looking early in the game. As well, he was a starting pitcher and he did not fare well. That's a low pitch. Two and one. The pitch, that's high, three and one. Again in the Maryland rule book. Score over 10 at the fifth inning mark. At the end of the fifth inning mark, the game will be over. Strike two. So the count is full at three and two. And he walked in. So a uh, good step for Mervo. I'm trying to cut into this lead as Ivan Walters, second pitcher I was in for Mervo, is back up to hit. Low pitch, that's the ball, and the steal from Winkler gets the second. That's low, one and one. One and one to count. On the pitch. Strike two. Holding back. Almost had the runner there. And he 
he's going to be safe. Ball low again. Count it two and two. And the pitch. Three. No! Boo! Struck him out. Another low strike. They cut enough of the corner. Stand and one away. No Rayvon Smith up. That's a strike. Second pitch, that one's low. Going to third. He is safe. And missed the ball. Gonna get a run in. So the lead is 18 to 7 and 11 run advantage now. Martinez or Patterson delivering the pitch. Pop foul right behind the catcher's end. And that's foul ball. Struck him out. Justin Jefferson up. High pitch. Strike one, one and one. Cutting that corner again. Another strike two. Count is one and two. Nobody, nobody on. Two outs. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the pitch. He gone. And that's it. After four. And it's an 18 to seven game, 11 run lead. If the lead is still at 10 or more by the end of the five, the game will be called. Back with the fifth inning after this.